All right, so it's um, just nearing seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're just about to change back over. The battery voltage is 24.6. I'm going on that one, 24.6. Uh, we're getting a few watts charging. And under load, we've got 23 and a half volts. We just finished the breakfast run. And coffee's made and toast made and everything else and we're still on battery power so we changed over last night at five o'clock so 14 hours later we got 14 hours out of the batteries and we still got there's still some left I know people say oh look there we go there's the command output source utility and we're back to grid again. All without me having to be here. However, I wanted to make a video on it, so I guess I was here. So, I'm going to play with that software a little bit more today. Now, someone said yesterday, on um, one of the videos I did yesterday, made a comment, sorry, can't remember who you are, um, that it's a good replacement uh, or a substitute for, um, uh, for watch power. I don't think it's actually a substitute for watch power, because watch power can do still do some stuff that this can't. But I think it's a good add-on. I think it's brilliant. Use watch power to set it all up. And then use this for the automatic stuff. Or if you want to run both at the same time and you can view it and see it. Uh, my grid tire unit's doing 800 watts. Which is not too bad for 7 o'clock in the morning. Well, summertime's good here. Winter, we don't usually make 800 watts until just on 9 o'clock. So, yeah. I'm fairly impressed with that. I'm going to have a play with it and see what else I can get it to do and have a bit of a tinker. Okay, so there doesn't, been mu doesn't seem to be much more to this software. Um, I've got, it's got a web, inbuilt web server. Um, it's just port 80. I call it Aussie made kebabs just for proof of concept um, these menus don't provide much other than logs the timer is the most practical thing for me um, so I'm just having a look at the um, at the uh, web server and seeing if I can change it or make my own web page and interface with it which it doesn't look too difficult to be honest um, many years ago I my, my income was solely from designing web pages, but that was many, many years ago when we were on dial-up and only had H, um, HTML was the, the primary code. I can't do any PHP or anything like that. I probably could if I tried, but really don't care. Um, but I'm going to have a crack at that, seeing if I can change it. Um, where's my mouse? It's really a matter of just going into my gateway, setting up port forwarding. Uh, port 80 to the IP address of um, my server thingy, which is hardly ever on, so go go for your life if you want to try and hack it. <laughs> um, I run a managed managed um, gigabit um, hub before anything in the house, so I know everything that's going on. It's kind of how I um, find out whether I've got um, issues with viruses on customers' computers and stuff like that. It does work well. Um, so you just go to um, the IP address up there. Yeah, I show it. It. Aussie made kebabs. It seems to work. It worked instantly. There was no other configuration I needed to do. But that's the only other interesting point of that software. Um, so that was just a matter of probably less than 30 seconds of work to get that working. Um, so yeah, like I said, companion software, it's not really standalone, it's companion, but geez, I like the timer function. It's the only thing I was missing. All right, there we go, it's um, nine o'clock. Doing the thousand, thousand watts. I'm gonna drop them down, a bit of cloud coming over. That's fine. Can't live without clouds, can you? So, yeah, anyway, that'll be it for now. Have a good one.